Below. In the previous videos you learned different approaches and techniques used for forecasting. Here some problems are solved. The used problems are from the Operations Management book written by William Stevenson and published by McGraw-Hill. Before starting the first problem, if you did not do yet, subscribe and activate the alarm to be notified with the new videos. The first problem. The shown table shows the number of complaints received by a customer service department in the last five weeks. Prepare a forecast for week 6 using each of these approaches. The appropriate naive approach. A 3 period moving average. A weighted average using weights of 0.5, most recent, 0.3, and 0.2. Exponential smoothing with a smoothing constant of 0.4 known that the forecast for week 5 was 59. Recalling the six basic steps to make a forecast that were explained in the first video of this series. The first step is to determine the purpose of the forecast, is out of the scope of problem solving for training purpose. The second step is to establish a time horizon, which is given here in this problem to be weekly. While the third step is to obtain, clean, and analyze appropriate data. The data is already given. What we have to do is to plot them to check if they have a trend or vary around an average value. And we will start with this step. The fourth step is to select a forecasting technique. We already asked to make the forecast with different techniques for the purpose of training. The next step is to make the forecast. And finally, to monitor the forecast but we did not learn it yet. So, we will go through two steps only. Plotting and examine the data then making the forecast. The plotted data shows that variations around an average exist, and there is no trend or cycles. So, let us move to the next step to make the forecast using different techniques. The first one is to make the forecast using the appropriate naive approach. Since the data vary around an average, so, the forecast for week 6 equals the actual number of complaints in week 5 or F6 equal A5. So, F6 equals 64. The second requirement is to calculate the forecast for week 6 using the 3 period moving average. This means using the most recent 3 weeks which are 5, 4, and 3. So, F6 equals A5 plus A4 plus A3 divided by 3. This equals 64 plus 58 plus 55 divided by 3 equal 59. The next is to calculate the forecast for week 6 using the weighted average using weights of 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0 0.2. The highest weight is assigned to the most recent period which is week 5, the weight of 0 0.3 for the previous period, week 4 and the lowest weight is for week 3. So, F6 equals 0 0.5 multiplied by A5 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by A4 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by A3. Substituting by the values of A5, A4, and A3, F6 equals 0 0.5 multiplied by 64 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 58 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 55 equals 60.4 which is approximately equal 60. The last requirement is to calculate the forecast for week 6 using exponential smoothing with a smoothing constant of 0 0.4 known that the forecast for week 5 was 59. Applying the exponential smoothing equation, F6 equals F5 plus alpha multiplied by A5 minus F5. This equal 59 plus 0 0.4 multiplied by 64 minus 59 this equals 61. Let us solve another problem. A cosmetics manufacturer's marketing department records during the last six months indicate the demand for a product as shown in this table. Predict the number of requests for month 7 using each of these methods. Naive. A 4 period moving average. A weighted average using weights of 0 0.4, most recent, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 
Exponential smoothing with alpha equals 0 0.3. Use 1224 month 6 forecast. Again the plotted data shows that variations around an average exist, and there is no trend or cycles. So, let us move to the next step to make the forecast using different techniques. The first one is to make the forecast using the naive approach. Since the data vary around an average, so, the forecast for month 7 equals the actual demand in month 6 or F7 equal A6. So, F7 equal 1260. The second requirement is to calculate the forecast for month 7 using the 4 period moving average. This means using the most recent 4 months which are 6, 5, 4, and 3. So, F7 equals A6 plus A5 plus A4 plus A3 divided by 4. This equals 1260 plus 1086 plus 1280 plus 1206 divided by 4 equal 1208. The next is to calculate the forecast for month 7 using a weighted average using weights of 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.1. The highest weight is assigned to the most recent period which is month 6, the weight of 0 0.3 for the previous period, month 5, the weight 0 0.2 for the previous period, month 4 and the lowest weight is for month 3. So, F7 equals 0 0.4 multiplied by A6 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by A5 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by A4 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by A3. Substituting by the values of A6, A5, A4, and A3. F7 equals 0 0.4 multiplied by 1260 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 1086 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 1280 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 1206 equal 1206.4 approximately equal 1206. The last requirement is to calculate the forecast for month 7 using exponential smoothing with a smoothing constant of 0.3 known that the forecast for month 6 was 1220. Applying the exponential smoothing equation, F7 equals F6 plus alpha multiplied by A6 minus F6. This equal 1220 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 1260 minus 1220 this equals 1232. In this video we practice forecast calculation using naive, moving average, weighted average and exponential smoothing methods by solving two problems. The next video solves more problems covering different time series methods. So. Keep following us and do not forget to subscribe and activate the alarm to be notified with the new videos. Goodbye.